morning. It's such a beautiful day here. It's been a bit hot and a bit close the last few days, but it's a nice little breeze, sun's out. And as usual, I'm running around after Jason. Um, so for those of you who haven't been here before, we're actually down on, sorry, my phone's a bit wonky. Don't know how to rectify that without everything going wrong. Um, that's very strange. Anyway, um, we're down on our polo cross field. So this gets sanded each year. Kent Target Polo Cross Club rent it. So we're really lucky to have this to ride round. And Jason's just uh, working his own horse for, for once. Not for once, he rides him every day, but um, it's not often we get him on the 11 o'clock live. So I don't know if you follow our social media and last week we had Louise and Griffin on and Louise was having a handover ride with Griffin and Louise had, she'd lost her, uh, her arm in, a, um, in the Clapham Rail disaster like back in the 80s. And Griffin was a Welsh D that we'd started for her Anyway, yesterday I posted a little update. Griffin's now at home and uh, everything's going pretty well so far. She went on a quite an eventful hack and met lots of scary things and um, all went well. So anyway, this is, uh, this is JJ. And uh, Jason likes to get them out and do a bit of schooling and things out on the, uh, the grass. The ground is pretty hard at the moment. As we said, um, as I said earlier, the actual polo cross pitch gets sanded. So that does provide a lot of um, grip and things and a little bit of a cushioning. So he won't do too much work down here. Um, but it's good for them, get used to different environments, get them used to working where there's a few more distractions maybe. And Jason loves riding JJ, gives them a bit of a break from the young horses and um, things like that. So I think he said he had an exercise to show you. So uh, yeah, hi Jace. How are we doing everyone? Hope you're all well wherever you are. Shout. Um, so today, I'm, uh, I've got a little exercise that, you know, not everyone has an arena and all that sort of thing. And if you're getting along in your dressage type thing and you, you want to do a bit of weights training, I've got a little exercise for you that might, uh, might be useful. And it's just about using a slope to, to help your horse either push or sit a little bit. So we're going to see how that, how that goes today. The ground's a little hard, so we'll do a, do a set or, or two. When I say a set, I might do about, um, well, you'll see two or three of these little little numbers and see how we go. So I've just given him a bit of a warm up, a couple of laps around the field before you've come. Bit of a canter, a couple of little circles down here. And um, yeah, we'll see how he goes. I'll give him a couple of little rounds up and down the hill and I'll come back and give you half a clue about what I was doing if you can't work it out. So um, you might not be able to, it might not show too much on video, but this is actually uh, a steep little hill here. Goes round the, what what is now known as the, the dragon log, because uh, someone said, oh, it looks like a dragon. It looks a bit more like a crocodile from this angle, but anyway. So there is a slope up and down. I'll try and get a bit closer. So this is where the horse has to sit and really get his back legs underneath him. And you could see Jason really sort of slowed him up as he was going down, really sitting almost like that sort of half halt position, I guess. And here he's driving up. He's looking to sort of maybe go into a bit more of a medium trot, try not to break into a canter. And Jason sort of describes this as a bit like weight training for, um, for the horses. Oh, and he's even using a bit of the log as he goes down. There's even more of a getting him to sit. 
Then he's going to push up the hill. Oh, you could really see those hind legs of JJ's really driving up that hill. And now sitting. And you can see that sort of half halt. And you can see, so Jason's starting to do a bit of um, passage and piaf on the ground with him and under saddle. And so now in the canter, really making him power up that hill. And then sit in the canter down the hill. And you can see JJ sort of self steadying himself as he goes down the hill. It's really good for their balance, coordination, and as Jason said, is sort of strength training. Power up the hill. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a real glitch in the connection there. We're, we're back in action. You haven't missed anything, it's just the same. This is the last one Jason's coming round for now. Last one on this range. Oh, it's really slowing as he comes down the hill. As ever, when we come out, oh, there's a nice flying change down there. So the flying changes are really starting to come with JJ now. He started sort of tempi changes, maybe sort of three or four strides in between each change. And now we're on the left rein. And JJ's canter is so lovely. Jason's like, it is just like an armchair. It is just um, gorgeous. And Jason looks very comfy. I'm sure he's working hard um, at the canter, but um, yeah, JJ's natural canter does make it a bit easier for him. So powering up the hill. Started off with the trot on both reins. He's done sort of three sets to the right, and now he'll do three sets to the left. And sort of within each gait in dressage, um, you're having to sort of put in different, you know, there's working trot, medium trot, then you've got the more collected trot of sort of um, passage and things. And actually we went down the other day to see our stallion down at Beaufort Polo. And um, Mark Tomlinson, who's training him at the moment, was doing really similar exercises. So it can work with any discipline. Yeah, well, that was really good. You could see him starting to work a little bit hard on that last one. So that, that's all right. I don't mind them sort of um, breaking down a little bit, but you just got to try to. And that's where my job comes in to keep riding him through and try and keep that balance in the canter, particularly down the hill where they've got to sit and hold that canter so it's uh you know this is just like i say a bit of training for jj so when he gets in the arena he's going this is so easy and um you know he, he can show off a bit more yeah perfect um so he's not looking that impressed now hey jj he's in his quantum bridle oh, yeah. what what um what snaffle is that is it a fager loose ring it is a fagu i think it's a yeah it's just a loose ring um double jointed snaffle basically yeah um i was gonna i was gonna say i never mentioned them but obviously um jill's great with the with the bridle that she's um got sorted for jj but also saddle exchange i love those guys they've um they've had jj kitted out since i've had him and um it's been a brilliant saddle and they even tailored it a little bit to me. They put some some big um, blocks on it because they thought, oh, you'll like this because you, you know, your stock saddle with the with the wings on the front of the stock saddle. So and they were right. But so the one, the yeah, one thing very I, comfy dressage saddle. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, but the one thing I do want to give a big plug to is I use their um, their uh, girths. And they are absolutely brilliant. They're different to other girths, but um, yeah, uh, I mean, you know, like all good things, they're, they're, you get what you pay for, but it is, it is just so good and the horses really like it. So I don't know whether you can see the padding and 
and just yeah and the elasticity around the back of the padding yeah it's my that that is one of my favorite things oh very nice good stuff and uh we also use Equilibrium products um, to keep the horses safe and all their legs wrapped up and things. And the massage pads are just fab. And Toggy very kindly kits Jason out in clothing. Uh, yeah, and and Champion uh, supplies our hats. So yeah, so there you go. Big, big, big yes, shout out. I need is Wrangler oh yeah, we need Wrangler to come and um, sponsor. Anyone out there from Wrangler's looking? Oh, what was the name of the company that supplied the girls? So it's... Um, Saddle, uh, Saddle Exchange, sorry, Saddle Exchange. Yeah. Um, they're down in, I want to say Dorset, but I don't think they are that far. Mm. Um, I think it's www.saddleexchange.com, I think, off the top of my head. Mm. Yeah, so um, Jason will do those sets a few more times with, with JJ, and um, he's looking pretty chilled out now. <laughs> Time for another competition, JJ. I need to get you back in that arena, or Jason. <laughs> for that matter. <laughs> more the problem is me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Jason trying to remember which way to go in a dressage arena. That is the problem. Um, so we'll just have a little... Um, we'll just have one more look at him. Seeing as it's a nice sunny day and I'm quite enjoying a bit of um, tanning at the same time. So if anyone's just jumping on now... Jason's just got this great little exercise that uses a hill. Um, so he'll do a couple in trot. So you can see JJ really working up that hill over a little pole, over a little log as we go. And sitting, really sitting underneath himself as he comes down there. And he's having to slow and keep his balance. And JJ's such a happy chap these days. You know, he's been a, been a long, long, long term project. And, oh, bit of a slip. And, um, yeah, they sometimes slip when they're not taking enough weight behind. He's just going to do that again and prepare JJ a little bit more. So he's really taking, taking on that weight in the hind end. Yeah, so, so JJ's now, I think he's rising tail, he's probably 10 now. Um, so we've having, had him seven years, Jason started him and um, his owner just always felt that he was going to be a bit too much for her. She, he's, he came, he was a bit of an anxious boy, um, but he's really... I think it's just these last year he's really sort of come to the party and he's just a lovely horse now. He does have his moments, won't lie. He's a bit of a claustrophobic horse, so he lives in a herd with uh, two other geldings. And actually our foal lives out with, well, our yearling now, lives out with him as well. Um, so he lives in a little herd. He doesn't get stabled that much and he, he likes it that way as I think a lot of horses would do. Now, I just, I just wanted to say, when I'm riding JJ up and down here, you know, as Penny said, the ground is a little bit slippery. So I think whatever ground you're riding on, you know, sometimes we can't really choose, you ride accordingly. Um, and me just doing this exercise, what I can feel when JJ slips is imbalance and I either need to get him to hold up a little bit more so he can hold his balance on this sort of ground and um, you know a couple of times he slipped on one leg and it's because he was leaning that way and as soon as he's going straight and holding weight behind there's far less chance of him slipping and when he does slip it's, it's also a little reminder for him to, you know, shorten up on this ground because it is, it is a bit slippy and just look after yourself. So some people might say, oh, I can't possibly ride on that ground. But I say ride accordingly 
and it's really good education for your horse because when they do these things they adjust and they try to you know keep their balance and like I say I'm not trying to ask him for anything he can't do I'm just saying just keep your balance keep steady because it is slippy and look after yourself so you know use the terrain to help your horse sort of with their balance cool all right well we might uh we might get going now got the farrier to go and look after and, and make a cup of tea for <laughs> and so uh, yeah i hope wherever you are you're uh, having a lovely day all right see you later jace see you guys. all right bye